Hi, this is Jim from StarryHope.com, and today I'd like to show you how you can use the daily builds of Ubuntu 16.04 to check out the progress being made on Ubuntu's next generation desktop, Unity 8. This is just a preview, but it'll give you a little bit of insight into the progress being made. The first thing you'll want to do is open up Firefox and do a quick search for Ubuntu Daily. This will help you find the Ubuntu Daily Build CDs that you can download. This is the latest development version of Ubuntu. The image you'll want to download is the AMD64 ISO image. Once you've got that ISO downloaded, you can use the Startup Disk Creation tool to make a live USB drive that you can use to install Ubuntu 16.04. Since I've already installed Ubuntu 16.04, I'll show you exactly how to get Unity 8 up and running. First, open up a terminal, and the command you want to run is sudo apt-get install unity8-desktop-session-mirror. Go ahead and enter in your password. Hit enter for yes, and I'm going to speed this up about a thousand percent so that this will finish really quickly. And then once you have everything installed, you just need to restart your computer real quickly. And after a quick reboot, you'll be able to log into Unity 8. To log in, you click on the little Ubuntu icon and select the Unity 8 mirror desktop, enter your password, and then it should bring you right into the Unity 8 desktop where you have to enter your password again. Once you're in here, you can see the scopes are in their own window, which is a little weird. Um, right now, normally they would be here if you clicked on the Ubuntu icon, um, but right now they're in their own window. About the only other thing you can really open up is the settings, system settings. And if you come in here, there are a few things you can do. Um, you can change the background color. You can do another, a few other things. You can come in and try and set these accounts. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but you can set the background, and this will set the background for both Unity 8 and 7. So once you hit set, it changes the background. Let's check, try out this building here. It's pretty nice. Um, You can go into the language settings, change some text input settings, language and text. And one other thing you can do, you can click on the about this phone, which in this case, it's an HP computer. So it tells me a little bit of information about my computer. But you can tell that this is still really geared towards the phone version of Ubuntu. And just this is just the beginning of them bringing this into the desktop um, world. The browser has worked for me in the past. It's actually quite a nice browser. Um, for some reason, it seems to be crashing a lot recently. While that tries to load up, we can look at the indicators up here on the top right. Very similar to what you would see on Ubuntu phone. Um, the settings like the, the audio and the Bluetooth and stuff like that work. Um, again, the browser is crashing all the time. Yeah, so you can kind of play around with that. You can play around with system settings. Browser is just not going to work today. All right. One other thing you can look at is the Ubuntu store. Um, unfortunately, there's a bug, something to do with um, App Armor that's not letting people actually install. Uh, things so I'm not even going to try and do that. Normally you would you would log in with your Ubuntu One account and then you could install apps just like on the phone. Uh, it's not working right now but again this is just a preview of what's to come. One cool thing is if you do an alt tab uh, uh, you'll see the new effects that they've created for the desktop mode of switching um, between applications. So you can do an alt tab um, and you'll see in the bottom it shows all your windows, and at the top it shows a preview of what it's going to look like when you let go of the Alt-Tab. 
So that's pretty much all you can do in the current version of Unity 8 Desktop. It, this is a good way to check out the progress on Unity 8 Desktop by just installing this in your uh, on a machine and keeping it up to date, the 1604 version of Ubuntu. When you're all done, uh, just you can log out and go back to your regular Unity 7 Desktop.